Hi, welcome back Leos to Star of the Universe Tarot. This is your April 2021 reading. Um, if you don't follow me on IG, feel free to. I provide motivational Monday messages. I also um, do Sunday Funday live readings for general and for love. And I actually am doing some channel changes. So I'm going to have the uh, Star of the Universe... Um, Star Fights for the Universe, I'm sorry, um, my other channel, um, go down for a little bit, and I'm gonna move the, um, the full moon and the new moon readings to live sessions on IG, um, so look out for that, and I'm going to move the Divine Feminine updates to here, to this channel. Also, if you, if any of this resonates, and you're looking to book a personal reading, I do, um, I'm doing a special right now for a 15 minute session, okay? So your own personal link or video, just like this one, or you could do um, a one-on-one -on -one session with me on IG, okay? Um, it's up to you how you wanna, um, how you wanna do it. It's $25 regardless. So $25 for the 15 minute session, okay? Um, oh, I'm going to minus one of the, the next 72 hour readings as well. So instead of doing that twice a month, I'm only going to do it once and I'm going to, um, add a new segment, a new work segment. Um, instead of back to business as usual, it's back to bullshit as usual. Um, your, your work week ahead reading everything you need to know by Monday morning. Okay. Come Monday morning. Okay, Leo. Sorry, I have a lot to talk about. But I'm done now. And we need to get into your energies. I'm hearing sticky, sticky, sticky. <laughs> Some of you guys... Are in either A, a very sticky situation, or B, are about to roll up. Yeah, I've shine bright like a candle. You will make it through this. This is like my shine bright like a diamond. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Yeah, but I wonder what will happen next. It's always tea time and set your course. Someone's trying to figure out why they keep running around in circles. You have a line your life under the deck. Someone doesn't know why they can't unbound themselves from a certain person or situation. But it's getting, um, I want to say tedious, but it's more than tedious. It's not boring. It's, it's, it's annoying. It's annoying at this, at this point, like the annoying orange. <laughs> Some of you guys could be dealing with somebody who's very codependent or has a very, very um, bad, like, victim mentality, like, victim mentality issues. It could be a mother with the Venus card here. It could be a, uh, a sister. Could could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus or an Aries. Oh, okay. We'll take those. All right. We have Earth and we have the crumbling. So somebody's trying to ground themselves. Um, I'm hearing brace yourself for... Um, for this tower to fall. You have called. Soul gifts and training. It's time to step up. And you have karmic relationships. Okay. Trust the niggling feeling. Somebody is about to call you. And you're being called to have protection. Because their coping mechanisms. And their addiction. Is really starting to affect your life. Leo. Either you or, or the person that you are directly dealing with. It could be uh, somebody in the home. It could be because uh, soul family wanted to come out. So, um, and then the empress came out, uh, uh, popped out as well. You have sisterhood at the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a sister. Oh, okay. You could be dealing with a very jealous sibling that doesn't want you to. That doesn't want you to uh, to fall in love to move into a partnership. <laughs> Sorry, the, the way he was just hanging. <laughs> she. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, it, with the full card under the deck, they don't want you to take a leap of faith because they feel like you falling in love um, with someone else and finding your divine partner is going to have you um, walk away from them with the Eight of Cups. You could be dealing with a water sign. But they feel like you're going to be, they're going to be left in the dust. They'll be left in the dust. Stick by you. Do you know what Post Malone is? Don't. Okay. We have the Four of Cups, the Will of Fortune, Leo. That's your energy and the Judgment card. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius or a water sign, a water sign again, or a Scorpio. But someone's disappointed because they keep going onto the same. You know what? What it is? Someone keeps reaching the end of a cycle time and time and again, and it does not close out. Yeah, because with, with the Knight of Cups under the deck, this person always comes back with apologies and explanations and and gifts and trinkets. And you're starting to notice that this is a this is um a very deceptive energy. And with the Emperor card here, you could be dealing with a Taurus or an Aries. But this person's deceptive um qualities is starting to outshine their gifts. That's what I'm hearing. Outshine their gifts. So any trinkets, any little like um, little gesture, love gestures that they're trying to give you, it's not really worth anything. Um, with the two of swords under the deck, you could be dealing with the Libra, but it, you're at a crossword, uh, crosswords. Oh, some of you like my, my like crossword puzzles. Um, you're at a crossroads right now, not knowing how to maneuver this situation. Yeah, but through through time and like you took time out by yourself to really divinate your own. Like, what is it that keeps me going? What what is it that that gives me endurance? Um, in order to to really end this cycle completely, you have trust. As soon as I open the deck, like you you're you're learning how to trust the process. Yeah, that, that downy vibes. <laughs> we were in downy. We were in Lakewood. It was middle school, the southeast. So I was actually genuinely happy to see them. Oh, heard. Like, oh, fuck, dude, no way. I know you. <laughs> you have prosperity, action, and cycles, and then you have awareness under the deck. Someone is 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 taking action to end this cycle completely because they see that they see the light at the end of the tunnel. They see that prosperity comes when the awareness is is outshown. Fucking disgusting, man. And it's gonna take courage. Um, with adventure here, it's gonna it's it's been a long time coming, but it, it's about time that this came to an end because you guys are polar opposites. You could be dealing, you know, with the sister sign. A um um like if you're a Scorpio it's Taurus if you're a Pisces it's Virgo you know if you're a Leo it's Aquarius so you could be dealing with an Aquarius or you could have Aquarius prompt promptly in your chart but you're you're being called to set your intention correctly and figure out what it is exactly that you want so that spirit could help you co-create it because. After the end of this cycle, the reason why you haven't ended it is because you have nothing to move forward to. Yeah, I mean, besides your happiness, but you could be happy where you're at. That's what they're saying. You're, you could be happy where you're at and, and try to um, steer your intentions in a way where you know what you're going to do next. I'm hearing big picture thinking and I'm hearing um, dream big. So whatever it is that you thought that you were going to move forward to, you're not dreaming big enough or you're not thinking big enough. And that's why spirit still has you like in this incubator period trying to figure out what to do with you. But they're trying to co-create with you at the same time. So it's up to you how you want to move, make your next moves and how you want to set your intentions and how you're going to end this cycle. All right. Leo, that's what I have for you. Don't forget to check out the mid month check ins and the and check and follow me on IG. Okay, bye.